Okay, so this part we're gonna kind of breeze through real quick. Most everyone here already knows a little bit about this, but we went to Top Golf the other night. We had a really good time. We, we split up into, and I'm recording this so we can post it. We split up into four teams. Uh, currently, this team has 23 people on it. I wanna, I wanna record this video so that we can put it out on the group so everyone's really, really clear on what we're doing and why we're doing it. Um, also, kind of new developments, but if you haven't heard, my kind of full-time job is recruiting right now. So growing the company, growing the team, helping other people grow teams inside the brokerage, et cetera. So I'm hiring agents to the brokerage, but I'm also gearing them up to be really excited about meeting our team and learning about what we do and um, things like that. However, I don't hire agents to our team. I don't do that at all. I'm not gonna do that to anybody on this team because I've made some bad, bad hires before. So inside the recruiting conversation, I'm talking about HomeSmart, I'm talking about me and things I can do to help them grow their business. At the same time, I'm kind of throwing little pieces of bait out about the team. The last six or seven people that I've met with are really, really interested in the team. I can disqualify them if I want. Like if I think they're not gonna be a good fit, I'm gonna make, I'm not even gonna make, make you meet with them and put you up against it. Uh, I will steer them towards the brokerage. Not a lot of people have I turned down from HomeSmart, but I have turned down probably 15 this year that wanna join the company just because I don't think they're a good cultural fit. I'm less concerned with the cultural fit at HomeSmart as I am with the cultural fit on our team because people can be off doing individual deals, working with themselves, and they don't really bother any of us or anything like that. So when I hire an agent, they wanna join the team, I get them to agree that HomeSmart's the fit for them, and I give them the paperwork and they start the signing of it. Then, I'm like, your next step after you know you wanna join HomeSmart is you go meet with the team. And so we have, we've kind of, but you know, we've kind of just separated the people that kind of stepped up inside the group that are like, hey, I wanna help, I wanna help grow the team, help educate people, things like that. As we're growing, we're Renee, Greg always have been, has been this, this person, Tyler and Catherine, okay? so. Kind of, the, kind of the, the, the development of it was inside my goal to provide excellent customer service to our agents and also all of our agents to be educated and knowledgeable to provide excellent customer service to customers and clients, I wanna make sure I'm available. And when I interview with agents, accessibility to knowledge, training, and things like that are really, really important. It's like one of the most important things that, uh, that an agent has when they're looking at a team to join or a brokers to go to. So as we're growing, I'm becoming less available to everyone, but I'm always available to all of you guys. Everyone that's on this team, I'm 100% available to all the time. But in order to honor my commitment, which is to provide really good customer service, I'm like, hey, let's kind of break up our team in a fun way so that we can like compete with each other but we're incentivized through different methods and techniques beyond what our current arrangement is, right? So long story short, Catherine, Greg, Renee, and Tyler are essentially like these, these pod leader, team leader type people. And, and so when we went to Top Golf the other day, it just naturally kind of worked that we separated everyone that was there onto a team, right? So we're all on the same team. Don't misunderstand what I'm saying. We're going to create fun games around it. So Top Golf was, I think, a blast, um, and I can't thank you enough for bringing your son because he was so fun. And we're actually going to do a, an annual baby giveaway um, every year. Yeah, just, just no, just have another one. Okay, and so so what what so what we did uh, so what we did at Top Golf, and this is the way this is the way it's going to grow. And then as we hire new agents, and you all approve new agents coming onto the team, we're going to stick them on different places. So uh, we have Catherine, and working with Catherine is Lindsay Boat, Rebecca Dickerson, Jerry Reese, Hannah Wickwar, Valerie Keeler. We got Tyler, um, Angela Creech, Marvin, Beth Gaddy, Joseph Fees. Greg um, is, we have Patricia, Paulina, Lindsey Hankins, Terry Bennett, Wendy Bennett, and then Renee, we've got Chuck Dye, Robert Brown, Scott Brake, Tracy Lewis, Heather Anderson. So we're breaking up into these, into these little groups, although nothing will feel or seemingly look any different, but the, 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 the people, Catherine, Tyler, Greg, and Renee, their job is to get their group of people producing more so than they are now, right? 
And so we're putting things in place to allow that to happen. Because you guys, I want everyone to be super, super successful in real estate. The more successful you are, the more successful we are together, the more successful our company is. We're creating recruitment and incentive, uh, recruitment incentives for agents as they bring. We're gonna do one particular thing, which is just a money giveaway basically for recruiting agents. I haven't put a dollar amount on it yet, but starting in January, my goal, so please don't hold me to it, but my goal starting January is at the end of 2020, we'll give away like a really nice trip for someone. And the way it works is everyone that recruits an agent gets their name put in a hat. At the end of the year, the Christmas party will draw and someone gets like a baller freaking gift, right? So there's gonna be incentives put in place, but back to the, the four pods inside the team, don't be alarmed if Catherine, Renee, Greg, or um, Tyler are reaching out to you and encouraging you guys to show up to an event, to um, whatever it is, right? Because we're all gonna be incentivized based on our production and we're gonna have gains inside of it. So one of the things we're doing, we're setting up a, um, a point system, right? So at the, end of, at the end of a month, we're gonna tally up all the points that each team has. The loser, meaning the least, the team with the least amount of points has to do something like, um, like the first call night of, of every month, maybe they have to bring in dinner for everybody, or there's gonna be something, right? Where if you, if you snooze, you lose, and you have to do something fun for the winners. So the point system goes like this. You get one point for 50 calls a day or 20, or 20 conversations. It can be one or the other, right? Um, and as far as how we're tracking this, I don't know, we'll track it, we'll get it all put together. What's up, Valerie? Uh, one point for setting a new appointment. Doesn't matter if it's SOI, team, doesn't matter. Three points for an executed contract. Executed contract means a buyer under contract, a listing contract executed. There's no taking away of points that I know of. So if you get something executed and then it falls apart later, you don't lose points, right? This is all like fun and incentives. Um, a closing is three points. If everyone on the team that we just talked about attends a call night, the whole team gets five points. Uh, one point for being on all three morning calls per week, which is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, that's individually, not a team. And then one point for attending a Friday meeting. So there's really no negatives anywhere. It's all just like incentives for doing stuff, right? So at the end of, and, and so we're still trying to tally up points right now, so we're really gonna try to effectively start keeping track like the 15th, which is Tuesday after the holiday. I think the 14th is the holiday. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start keeping track. So that's what we're gonna be reaching out. Does everyone wanna add points for open houses? We have one, two, two and seven. Paulina? Sure, yeah. Okay. What, what is it, one point for open house? One point? I need to go to the center.